Okay. This video um, is a message from my friend that I'm searching for. Um, just before I start, I don't want nobody posting crap or negative comments on uh, this video or any pranksters. Um, I'm not a mental notice. I don't like getting emotional in front of um, people, let alone crying. Okay, basically, this is a video message in search of my friend, Michael. I met him back in 2008. working over at uh, Victory Memorial Hospital, which is now closed, unfortunately. Uh, we were, I don't know how to say, very good friends, very, very good friends, uh, maybe even more than friends. You know, we we just had this um, I don't know, this special bond, and basically, I haven't seen him in in, in a while now, and I I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he's still living in Brooklyn. If he's even living in New York. I don't know. He found a little girl. I don't know uh, if he's even alive. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, um, we were getting along so so well and then for some strange reason he just stopped communicating with me I understand that my home phone my cell phone number changed I don't use my Yahoo account anymore because I got a lot of crap mail spam mail on that shit I don't know who to blame. Sometimes I blame him. Sometimes I blame me. Um, I feel that maybe I was pressuring him too much. You know, I was pressuring him into buying the house by the hospital. Of course, I soon realized that <laughs> that would have been a mistake, seeing that the hospital closed. Um, I don't know why he just stopped contacting me. I mean, I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen him. I posted so many fucking ads on fucking Craigslist, only, you know, pouring my heart out, pouring my guts out, only to have some jerks post negative comments on it, some pervert showing their uh, private parts. <sighs> I, I mean, I'm gonna be all, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was some guys that were interested in me. <sighs> I I I couldn't go through with it. I could not go through with it. I mean, <sighs> he was he was the only one. For me, I mean, uh, all the men I could possibly, I don't know, fantasize about having, I just realized that that's just a dream. I mean, he is the only one that I fucking want. I mean, if 
there was any man I wanted to marry, it would have been him. I mean, believe me, I had a lot of men, <laughs> believe it or not, coming up to me, you know, um, who wanted to date me and everything. I just, I just could not do it. I couldn't do it. Because I fell in love with Michael and... He, he's he's going to, he was, he is, and he's going to be the only one that I ever want. I mean, to, to, to possibly even think of going out with somebody else is like, it's like, really, you know? I mean, we, we, we were like brother and sister. We were like soulmates. <laughs> he, he was like, uh, he was like that knight in shining armor that, um... <laughs> I always dreamed about, and I don't, oh my god, I'm going to get emotional, please forgive me, I just can't understand why he fucking went away, I mean, he could have fucking called me or fucking wrote me a letter or something, I mean, how could you fucking leave me like this? Yo, it's like the moment he fucking left. It's like, it's like my whole fucking world came crashing down. Everything came crashing down. My family, my friends, my heart. Everything came fucking crashing down. It's like when I had him, I had everything fucking set. It was almost like I won, I won the million dollar jackpot, and now, I mean, if he didn't want me, he could have just easily have said, you know, I'm, I, I, I you know, I, I un, un, understand you feel that way, but I just don't feel that way about you. I mean, how, how could you possibly leave me hanging here like that? I mean. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna find somebody like that. I fucking pray. Every fucking day, every fucking night. That I don't fucking see him again. I don't even know if the poor guy's alive. And I'm over there pouring out my fucking guts, my fucking heart on Craigslist. Those fucking bastards on Craigslist. I don't know what to say. I, 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 the only thing that I can fucking say is that I will never, never love any man like I did him. And if he if he thinks different, baby, you, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong because I haven't seen you in fucking years. And here I am tearing my heart out on the fucking internet just to see you again. Yeah, okay. I admit, I'm not, I'm not a, a far-fetched catch, you know. There's probably other better people out there than me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not healthy. I mean, um, I, I can't. I can't offer you much. The the only the only thing that I could possibly offer is just my love. That that's about it. I mean if there if there was any man that I wanted to walk down the aisle with that I wanted to be married with, it would have been Michael. And can't understand why he left me like that without a word. Um, a letter, a call, an email, nothing. And I completely understand that, you know, um, my phone number changed, my email. My cell phone changed, my, I don't, 
don't use my email address anymore. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say. It's like it's like it's like I honestly said I I will never never love anyone like him. Um, I mean. So it's like I said before, I don't know if he, he's moved out of the city, the state, did he find somebody else, is he even alive? Um, I, 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 I'm just devastated, and I, if I can't have him back, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not going to be looking for somebody else. I'm, I'm going to be officially... I'm going to be officially off the dating market. <laughs> I mean, there's, there, there will never be anybody else like him. And I pray every fucking night, every fucking day, that he would come back. I don't know what more to say, but, you know, <laughs> you know, if, if you're out there listening to this, you remember a girl that you were really close to when you were working at the hospital in Brooklyn, you know, Victory Memorial, if you remember that girl, hello, that's me, um, that girl pretty much still loves you. She wants you back. I want to stay with you forever. There'll never be another man that I, want, that I would want in my life except you. So, needless to say, Michael, if you're out there watching this, I beg you to please, oh, I'm sorry, I beg you to please contact me, just post a fucking head, post a fucking comment on this, you know, but you and you are the only one that I would want to spend the rest of my life with so if you're watching this Michael please remember the one that, the girl that you were working with at the hospital you remember me I was on I was on the fifth floor working in housekeeping the one that gave you all those gifts all those love letters beg you don't leave me like this if you're watching please reply to this I love you bye